a monk from BPD Limbang to represent BPD officers regarding Sellers 2021 reflections. Uh, first of all, I would like to convey my great thanks to the organizer of Sellers for giving me this opportunity to express my thought regarding these uh, events. It is a great honor for me to give the feedbacks about the, this prestigious event. Uh, before I get started with my honest comments, where when I was uh, told to come to participate in this symposium, there are two questions that pop up in my mind. It is, is it a worthy program for me? What the benefits I can gain from this event? You see, guys, since I am a Bahasa Melayu optionist and a SIOP officer, so at first I am a bit skeptical since this is my first time being invited to this English prestigious event. Well, However, I was proven wrong about my initial thought. Uh, as the saying goes, wrong end of the stick. So uh, let's stop beating around the bush. Let me go to my point of standing here today. Uh, frankly speaking, from the first day until the last day, I was attentively focused on the presentations. This uh, what I could say in brief. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is this was an absolutely fantastic. So amazing events. Every single paper presented had brought a lot of additional value towards the teaching and learning practices and the real world of teacher's life. It was absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, my respect to Mr. for funding this amazing symposium. It could, I could say that this is an absolutely jaw-dropping event. Yeah. All, the, all the participants, I believe, they agree with me that the standard of the overall flow of the events and the presentation are equal equivalent to the world class event. First, you know, it is here at the four star hotel with uh, luxury facilities on top of it. My standing, my standing ovation to all the awesome presenters. Let's give them a, a round of applause. <laughs> uh, besides, participants really enjoyed the four star of rooms. Wow, it's uh, amazing, isn't it? Without Mr. Financial Support, it might not happen. However, most importantly, all the participants have gained so much impressive knowledge from these two days events. I believe that this is an eye-opening event and a lifelong learning experience and uh, knowledge to the participant to be applied and adapted to enhance, to improvise their own teaching for the betterment of the students. In addition, in addition, my hats off to JPN's S officers for your outstanding job. The teachers and the whole must be agree with me that you did an awesome task. It is not easy to organize a big event like this. As the matter of fact, the success of this event, as we can see, just a tip of the iceberg. But 
under the water, the JPNS officers had put in much effort, energy, time, commitment, and teamwork to ensure everything is on the right tracks from your luminous faces. I could see the sense of satisfaction in you. You did it. Uh, once again, my credit to all the principals for your jelly well, Princess Pepper. Without you, we wouldn't be here. We, you have shared something unique, unique and special. All your effort at school with pedagogy innovation had paid off by sharing it to us. It is like killing two birds in one stone. You know, you say something and you gain something from your fellow presenters. My heart feel congratulations to all the participants who have managed to attend this world-class event. I know that you are very grateful and thankful as participants of this great event. You have gained so much knowledge from this event and please bring it back with you to be shared with your colleagues and most importantly for your students. So time out for the strength of the event. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please allow me to suggest, suggest something here. This is from uh, the bottom of my heart and from my uh, my PPD officer as well. Guys, you know, we came here all over the, all over Sarawak in the name of sellers. In this language has united us, it binds us together. I believe we came here with one goal, which is to learn the teaching techniques. We came here with one objective, which is to boost the spirit toward the teaching professions. We came here with one mission, which is to increase the English language performance at the public examinations. And we came here with one vision, which is, which is to make Sarawak proud again in terms of student accomplishments. Everyone has put in the best effort to make this program, program successful. Tons of it have been spent. Many hours have been utilized. Much energy had been worn out. So there was so much sacrifices. My question is, what's next? Ladies and gentlemen, what's next? Uh, my humble suggestion is that an impact study should be carried out to check the implication of the techniques presented by the presenters. All the participants should use these techniques by adopting and adapting to meet the student needs and abilities. Last but not least, whatever efforts, whatever techniques, whatever programs, initiated by the teachers, it might not work well to inspire the students. There are two L on the top of it, which is love. First love is love for your job. The second love is love for your students. Love for your job means mean that you have to be committed you are willing to learn, you are willing to go for extra mile to make sure your job is done successfully. Love for the student, this kind of love, this love, this kind of love is not always emotional, but it is always decisional. This means this mean you can love your student even though they are not likable. 
does it ever happen in school? Because this kind of love, this kind of love is not emotional. It is deceptional. It motivates and inspires in a powerful way. Without this two love, you might end up with frustrated. Uh, before I end my speech, I would like to quote Herbert Einstein, which is, listen carefully, education is not the learning of fact, it is not the learning of fact, but the training of mind to think. Thank you. Have a pleasant day.